Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So here quickly we'll try to see the different directions and we'll try to understand the concept behind that. Okay. So it all started like, see, uh, if you remember, uh, whenever we start with the construction of any building, we do a puja, right? We perform a ritual, which is called as a Bhumi Puja. Okay. And whenever we start any big project, the first thing, whatever we write uh, in the uh, project planning is that we write that today we are going to do a uh, Bhumi Puja. Bhumi Puja and then your execution, the mobilization, all those things starts. Good. Very simple. Now, the reason behind doing a Bhumi Puja is because of this person. This person, you can see this person. So, this person is called as Vastu Purush. Okay. So, this is the entire home layout. Now, you may get certain idea what I'm trying to tell. This entire guy, this entire is a home layout. Okay. This is where you're constructed. Put it in a different color. This is your home. Okay. This, this is where you're constructing your home. And your Vastu Purush is something, your Vastu Purush is sitting something like this. So this guy is your Vastu Purush. This is the head of that Vastu. Purush is a man. Okay. So Vastu he is sitting something like his limbs are here. Okay. His both the feet are here. And then he's sitting in this way. You got an idea, no? See, you can see he's sitting something like this. Okay. Got it? Yeah. So Based on that only we are going to plan. How we are going to plan? It's very simple. This entire plot we are going to divide it in nine parts. That means each each direction we are going to put it in nine parts. For example, I'll quickly put this in nine part. Okay. So if this is my entire length, if this is a length of my, I'll put it in a different color. See, initially you may find it a bit difficult, but this is how you're supposed to do. Okay. Yeah. So this is my length. Let us consider this length is something nine meter. Okay, this length I'm considering it as 9 meter. Now, what you're supposed to do, you have to divide it by 9 parts. Whatever may be the length of your uh, plot, you have to divide it by 9. So, 9 divided by 9 comes out to be 1 meter. So, for every 1 meter, I have to, I'm supposed to draw the line. Okay, so th that is what I'm basically trying to do. I'm basically trying to put the grid lines. Okay, we'll start with this. So, one grid line. This is my second. So, you can see the same thing which has been done there. So, 3. Now, why it is 9? So, that is how the Vastu, this thing has been come up. Okay, even I don't the I when I don't know the real reason why it has to be 9, why not 10. But there is something called as 8 also. When you're constructing the temple and all, I heard it is for 8. So, I, and I don't have much idea on the temple construction. But in the temple and all, we go with the 8 by 8 grid and not 9 by 9 grid. Okay, so this is done. In the same way, I'm supposed to do in this direction also. Now, let us say if this is my direction again, in this direction, Again, I'll do the same thing. I'll go with a different color or let me go with the same color. Yeah. Here also I'll divide it by nine parts. So in this way, we're going to construct all these grids. Okay. These are the grids what we have constructed. And now in each grid, we have three parts. So this is my three part. I'll, I'll do it in three parts now so that you get an idea. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these three are one grid. Okay. Then I'll go with a different color now. These three are another grid for me. Then these three are another grid for me. Okay. Got it. Then I'll go with a different color again here. These three are another grid. These three are another grid for me. Then I'll go with another color. Uh, yeah. So these three are another grid. You can see three by three grid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is also three by three grid. This is also three by three grid. Okay. Now, this is how your entire layout is. And now, this is, we are going to write. And now, we are going to write all these things. Like, I'll write, this is my north. Okay, this portion will be my north. Okay, I'll write it here. This entire portion is my north. I think it's not visible. I'll do one thing. Yeah. Yeah. This is my north. I'll go with a different color. This is my north direction. This is this entire thing is my south direction. This entire direction is my west direction. This entire direction is my east direction. North, south, west, east. This becomes my exactly northeast. This becomes my southeast. This becomes my southwest. This becomes my northwest. You got an idea now? So this is how the entire building will be planned. And now, based on that, we try to keep in this portion only my northeast. What will come? Puja room will come. In each direction, you can keep the entrance of your home. You can keep your bathroom also. Southeast is always meant for the kitchen. So in this entire portion, you can plan your kitchen anywhere. South, you can try to have a bedroom, not an issue. 
southwest you can have your master bedroom i mean you know you can it's not you can you have to keep your bedroom master bedroom in the southwest direction west you can keep the toilet east also you can keep and west is also a good place to keep a, 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 a toilets and northwest you can keep your kids bedroom or even you can make a, a bathroom and all in this portion this is brahma brahma is the center portion and as far as possible the brahma stand this particular should be kept open you should not do any construction in that place why is that so because this is the center of a vastu purush so where is the center so this entire portion if you look into the vastu purush his his stomach is in this portion you cannot put a weight on someone's stomach right so this vastu purush you're not going to do anything here okay and this is your northeast direction along with that this is not the only concept along with that each direction has its own importance like for example now it becomes a bit complicated one thing is about the vastu purush this is what we are supposed to keep in mind the second is about the directions so we'll see what are the directions and see we have uh, five major elements right if you remember we have something called as water what are the elements we have one is water then we have air then we have fire uh, then we have space and we have uh, i think i left one one more thing which is that one more let me write it here yeah yeah water air fire space and uh in this water then uh, fire yeah earth is a one more element yeah. another element is earth okay so these are the five elements this is called as earth and this five elements we have their own place like this element this particular area is meant for water okay this is meant for water water element this also you have to remember wait water water element this particular that is southeast this is meant for fire element so that is why we keep our kitchen in this direction because we have fire element here okay southwest yeah fire okay then uh, my southwest this is for earth element This is for the earth element and northwest this is for air element okay this is my air element and the middle space what i have this is my space okay so that is why it has to be open you're getting my point so this is how the another planning will be done this is based on the different uh, this thing five uh, elements what we call water fire air earth and space got it so i hope your concepts are clear up to here and now we'll try to get into the other concept that is where we are supposed to keep water elements so first i'll start with the north first we'll start with the uh, northeast so northeast portion what all things you can keep you can always keep in the northeast your puja room you can have your living or a formal room you just have to note down these things if you don't note down anything i don't have issue here but try to note down whatever things i have written it here and the same will take a will take up one or two plan and we'll see we'll try to implement this okay northeast is also called as ishanya and here we have water element and the planet whatever we have we have a jupiter planet here so you can have your puja room here you can have your living or formal room here you can have your bedroom that is a kids or guest grandparents bedroom only you should have well or underground tank can be kept in northeast direction and one thing you remember you should not create any bathroom in the northeast direction why because northeast is a place where jupiter and jupiter is a god for us okay so that is why we are not going to construct any bathroom here another reason is that where is this vastu purush head the vastu purush head is in this direction and this is my northeast so in someone's face you have made a toilet which means you have made his face dirty when you are giving problem to the vastu purush in turn he will give problem to you so that is why we don't keep uh, this thing bathroom in the northeast direction that is the main reason behind that now come to the southeast portion southeast is called as which element we have in southeast it is written here okay we have fire element and the god which is this agni dev so since it's a fire element we try to keep something which is related to fire so in the kitchen we do fire i mean in the kitchen we do cooking which is a uh, which is uh, connected to the fire so that is why kitchen will try to keep in southeast direction and also the electrical equipment see this vastu is not only applicable to the building 
okay i mean uh, not only do a residential building it can be for commercial and all in commercial you don't have kitchen and all right so maybe you're putting up a factory you maybe you're putting up a big commercial building like a mall and all so in that case you'll be having a lot of electrical equipments and all so those things you can keep it in the southeast direction now come to the southwest part so in the southwest this particular place is called as nairutya nairutya and the uh, planet what we have is a earth planet okay so always we need to keep our master bedroom there so what is master bedroom if you have a home if, if your dad is the head of that family or someone who is the head of the family has to sleep in that room so that is a southwest direction in this in this room he has to sleep why because earth is the element so earth element we need to keep stable earth cannot uh, become unstable right? earth has to be stable only then we people are stable we are staying on the earth so the head of the family to, should be stable only then the entire house uh, can be stable and you can have a good atmosphere there so keeping that in mind what we do in the southwest we try to keep the master bedroom not only this there is one more reason to that so in the northeast direction we have jupiter god isn't it if you see this is water element we have jupiter jupiter is a god so god is directly seeing from here what is the directly direction he is seeing here so that means god is always giving a blessings to everyone right so when you have a master bedroom here so main head of the family is sitting here he's sleeping here or he's sitting in that room so the god is always blessing him so that is another reason why you are supposed to have a master bedroom in the southwest direction now come to the next part the next part is a northwest part so northwest we have it is called as air element there is a air element and it is called as vayuvya so since it's a air element whichever is a whichever element which is uh, i mean uh, which which is in a movement we, we are supposed to keep it there for example we try to keep kids kids bedroom or guest bedroom in the northwest direction because the kids we don't want them to stay in the home for a long period of time i mean if they want to go for higher studies and all we usually uh, make them sleep in the northwest direction because that northwest will not allow them to settle there they'll try to push it since there is a air element here so that is going to have the effect on those people city uh, people sleeping in the northwest room in the same way we want a guest bedroom in the northwest direction again whenever the guest come to our home we don't want them to stay for a very long period of time hence they are called as guest someone who comes for 2 to 3 days they are called as guest so if they stay in the home for a very long period of time it's difficult for us to cope up with them so what we do usually we plan our guest bedroom in the northwest direction so that that air air element is there it will push them out so they don't stay for long period of time they run out from i mean they they go quickly right so that's the first option if you cannot keep a northwest if you cannot keep uh, kids bedroom or guest see whatever i'm telling it is according to vastu now it's not that in all the all the plan you can apply all these things it's not possible some plan may be like for example you don't get a plan something like this right all your home plan won't be like this some home plan may be something like this okay in that case what you're supposed to do you may get a house plot something like this which is something like this okay something cut like this okay in that case what you do you have to construct home you cannot say that no i'll be having only a rectangular plot i'll be having only a square plot you may get a plot something like this like for example yeah i have this portion and i have this portion i have this portion and this northwest portion is cut and this is the plot what i have in that case you don't have northwest in your part in that case you have to plan accordingly no that is why sometimes if you cannot keep your uh, this thing uh, kids bedroom and guest bedroom here you can have your kitchen of course first option is southeast if you cannot keep your kitchen in the southeast you can have your kitchen in the south northwest again what is the reason because northwest is what element air element air and fire can be together right air and fire because for a fire to catch you need a air that is oxygen is required air is oxygen so in the northwest you can have a kitchen but you cannot have a kitchen in the northeast direction why northeast is a water element so you cannot uh, you cannot have a fire and water together because they are two different thing for a fire to be for fire, for a fire to doze you want water right very simple if you want to doze the fire you want water that means fire and water are not uh, good friends whereas air and fire are a good friends so that is why northwest is a good place where you can have your kitchen it's a second option just in case in the southeast you cannot have your kitchen you can have your kitchen in the northwest toilets are the good place to have in the northwest direction staircase is also a good place to have in the northwest and finished goods so this is uh, this is applicable in the uh, commercial uh, buildings and all or maybe if you are putting up a big uh, showroom or if you are having a jewelry shop or let's say if you are into the uh, this thing uh, what is that uh, clothing business where you have a uh, let us say you are into a automobile industry uh, where you have finished goods like a car okay 
Now car is a finished product. You want that to come in the market. So where do we store that? We store it in the northwest direction. Since northwest is a air element, the moment you store the car in the northwest direction, due to the air element, it will push. That means more customers will come. It will take your car. I mean, the good sales will happen. That's the logic behind that. Not only for the car. Whatever are your finished products, like if you're into a jewelry shop, you keep all your jewelry in the northwest direction. We plan in that way. In the same way, uh, in the same way, what is that? Uh, if you're into the clothing business and all, okay, then try to uh, keep your showroom or the display unit in the northwest direction so that what will happen? Yes, the sales will happen quickly. Very simple. So I wanted you to understand all these things. So that is what we have in this lecture. So in the next lecture, for the same thing, note down everything, whatever I've explained. In the next lecture, I'll explain you the same thing for the building, what we had seen, and we'll see how the Vastu has been applied. We'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.